To start you'll need a spray bottle filled with water and two drops of dishwashing detergent, a squeegee, a credit card and a cleaning cloth. Make sure the glass is clean. I suggest you use the water and detergent solution and remove any paint or dust or it will be trapped under the film and look unsightly. Roll out the film onto a smooth surface. The white is the backing paper and the grey is the film. Flip it so it's film side down and begin peeling the backing paper back. Now you need to spray the glass and the film. Give it a really good spray as the water and detergent will stop it from sticking so that you can slide the film around and get it into place on the glass. Pick up the film and put it onto the glass with the sticky side against the glass, sliding it into place. When you're happy with its position, give the film another spray with the water and detergent solution and start squeegeeing out the bubbles. Keep working it until all of the bubbles are gone. If you're doing a smaller window, you can also wrap a credit card in a soft cloth and gently squeegee out the bubbles. Give it a wipe with a cloth and you're done. If you have a white crease in the film, gently warm it with a flame and then rub it till it's gone. If you need to trim the film, use a Stanley knife and use the credit card as a guide to run it down the edge of the film. To start you'll need a spray bottle filled with water and two drops of dishwashing detergent, a squeegee, a credit card and a cleaning cloth. Make sure the glass is clean. I suggest you use the water and detergent solution and remove any paint or dust or it will be trapped under the film and look unsightly. Begin by rolling out the film onto a smooth clean surface. The film comes as three parts. There's the backing sheet which is the white part. There's the film which is the grey and there is the application paper which is over the design part of the film. The application paper is similar to masking tape. Begin by peeling off the thicker backing paper. Peel the paper flat back against itself, doing it very slowly to make sure the design stays stuck to the application paper. Don't be concerned if the paper looks folded or creased, it's only the backing paper and the film will not be affected. If the film is staying on the backing paper, simply push it back onto the application paper and continue peeling off the backing sheet. Spray the glass and the film with the water and detergent solution. This will stop the film from sticking so that you can slide it into position and get out any bubbles. Carefully pick up the film and put the sticky side against the glass. Slide it around until you get it into position. When you're happy with the position, spray the film with the water and detergent solution and start squeegeeing out the bubbles. Keep squeegeeing until all of the bubbles are gone. You now need to leave the film for at least an hour. The time will depend upon the amount of water that's behind the film and also the temperature of the room. But come back in an hour and see if it's stuck. Spray the application paper with the water and detergent solution and carefully peel back the application paper from the glass, making sure the design remains stuck. Wipe the film dry and gently pat the design areas to make sure they stay in place. And you're done. If you have a white crease in the film, Gently warm it with a flame and then rub it till it's gone. If you need to trim the film, use a Stanley knife and use the credit card as a guide to run it down the edge of the film.